everyone, it's Silly Comb Baby. I hope your week is going great. Um, it's Wednesday and we actually haven't had internet for two or three days. We had a some kind of problem with our computer line, so we had a guy come out and um, get that resolved today. So I'll be able to upload this today. And I plan on making some videos this week and next week, uh, in the weekend actually, with the babies. And all my organization, I finished a project that I've been working on all week. So I am excited to show you all that. I'm not going to do that now. But I'm going to show baby Azare Summer. And she is so cute. And since it's getting close to Easter time, she has her bunny blanket. Which I totally love. Um, the reason for my video, this is an organizational video with Azare. She's going to help me present my organizational book. It's This is my one of my planners. This one's actually a day timer. Um, it's, I got it in leather. Uh, I prefer leather. It, it'll last forever. I like the smell. I like the feel. It's super soft and it'll, it'll last forever. Um, it's actually the special edition, the breast cancer research edition with the pink ribbon has a snap closure. This is considered the desktop size, which is similar to an A5 if you go with Filofax. I also have a Franklin Covey, which I'll show you that in another video. So I'm just gonna do a little flip through kind of thing, I guess you wanna call it. Um, I haven't put much else in here. I actually got this out to add some appointments and some things that I've been doing this week and then in the near future. So over here it has a pin holder. It has a flap here, which I keep. This is a card from my friend Debbie. This is just a little note I tucked in here that I have to put, I'll somehow um, display it in my, in my, my um, organized. I just have tucked in here some online receipts that I got from Office Depot and Honest Diapers. That's some of my first receipts that I got when I got my planner. Over here is my dashboard. I kind of decorated it with some words that kind of describe me. Um, I have fun and unique, and that's pretty much all I could fit on there. But I put some clippies, and I put some post-it notes in case I need to use those. I have just a cute little pirate girl with a note and some numbered pages. This is just some cardstock for decor. And then I have these neat clips here. Super, super cool you do is you just squeeze them. They're kind of like a barrette. You know those barrettes that you slide in your hair and then you pop them closed, but they're a lot stronger. Those paper clips are bookmarks. They're totally awesome. And I use that to clip these on. This is something I made. Just took some cardstock and I, and it's two sided, but if I put it down, you couldn't see the other side. So I took, I cut, I cut it in half and then matched it and just kind of glued it back to back and made it so you could see both sides of the pattern. My book is not, you know, it's barely started. I haven't done, I haven't written anything in it, I don't think, since I've talked to you guys. I've been organizing my craft station in the kitchen and I'll, I'll show you that eventually. Azra wanted to say hi because she had been gone for a month or two to see Melissa McCrory. You know, she um, fixed her neck. She just, she had a, some parts where she, she was separating her paint, her paint was separating, I should say. And um, she sent her back and she's nice and perfectly well and fine now. So it's, isn't it wonder, wonderful how these babies never grow up? They're always so cute and they're always so just fresh looking and young and babies and little, I just love them. <laughs> I love that so much about them. You don't have to worry about them growing up. But anyway, I have these cute paper clips. They're kind of flimsy, but I thought they were cute. And they also are tab dividers. And I'll show you, I have some more. My next page is just from a paper pad. I bought this, I thought the colors were really cute. I bought it from Target Dollar Spot, I believe. And I just tore some pages off and stuck them in here with that clip. Some more Hello Kitty post-it notes. These are like the full stick, almost full. But you can use them and either just post. And then this is just a page divider that one of my daughters made me. And then here, here's the other side. She cut out hearts and used 
scrapbook paper and washi tape. I laminated it. And then there's a ruler that comes with it, which is super nice because it's just the little things that make these books so worth it. I use my ruler all the time. So it just kind of pops out like this. It's super convenient and you just stick back in. Also it has, you can move it around, it has a little tab up here so you can find it. Just very helpful. I made the I made this little pocket out of washi tape and a Ziploc baggie. I just cut it and then taped the edges and it left this part open so you can tuck stuff down in there. And then I'm I made this little thing that I tucked down there, have it clipped with a cute little clip thingy, but I just tore them to make kind of rough looking edges. I tore a piece of scrapbook paper and bent it. It's just like a little flappy book. Uh, hole punches and I put some little ribbons in there. Oh, one night, this I did last week, but one night I uh, cut out um, from a package that I got. I think it was like Hello, Hello Kitty cards or something. I cut this out and um, made just a whole Hello Kitty page and I you know, covered it with washi tape. Actually, this is it. I don't know if this is washi tape. I got this at the teacher supply um, store. It's like you can hang, you know, posters and stuff up with it. It's very similar to washi tape, though it's not see-through as much. It's more, it's not quite as translucent as that. Um, I put some puffy stickers and some bling for the clouds and the rain, and I put. I know it's sunny, but I put, since it had a chimney, I went ahead and put little smoke things, and I did butterflies, and then I did the sky and stuff down here. So I just did some different kind of scenes, some rainy and sunny and cloudy and cold scenes and summertime scenes. So I thought it was cute. Since I didn't get this planner until March, I don't have anything. Actually, the first thing I put in here was when Becky was coming to visit. I wrote spring because March is in the middle of March comes spring, kind of the end of March actually. And I just, you know, put some washi tape and just decorated it cutely. I did that and put a friend sticker and all that. Let's see what else. I don't have much in here yet, but I'm going to work on that today. You can see I have some new metallic infinity pins, so I don't know how much or how well they'll work. Skipping over to the next section. Um, this one Aubrey made. I also laminated it. Some more clippies. They have little paper clips on them. And they're decorated and they also have the flaps which are cute. I just, I don't know why I have these together. Oh, I thought these were cute. Um, the doggy and, uh, you know, stuff like that. The doggy tape I got. I thought that was I'll be writing my appointments down. I kind of went over the dates. Um, I believe I wrote them in pencil and then went over them in like a teal color just for this month or week or whatever. And I just kind of numbered a few because this is an undated planner, which is awesome because if you want to skip a month and you're like, didn't do anything, you can just skip, it, skip that month and know that nothing exciting happened or nothing needed to be recorded. But let's get back here. This is basically just the decorations I'm showing you for my, my planner. Ethan made me this one. It has a few things that I like. An owl and some fish. And then he drew who I believe is him. Cute. And then he put um, his name. And then he put love. He put, he was, he was wanting to put I love mommy. I love mommy. But he put love mo. <laughs> And he put some cute stickers. The Azari wanted to decorate a page, but she couldn't hold the pencil. She wouldn't wake up. She wanted to sleep instead. <laughs> My knee's scraping against the thingy here, so it's making a squeaky noise. Sorry. Then I have some funsies back here, some stickers, and some tags that I cut out from at the back of a sticker um, page cardboard thing. Just tuck some fun things in there and just some stickers to use. I've got a bunch of those and these I cut out. It was just a little decoration. I can use these to whenever I need it to decorate a page. I made a bookmark. 
It says, don't bug me, and it has a ladybug on it. That's cute. I laminated it with um, heavy-duty clear tape. And then the back, I put washi tape around the edges, and then I put a piece right here just for fun. And then I have some things in here. I have a picture of Aubrey from her school, Polar Express. And then I have some clips and magnet page holders and things. And some Smash Company um, Smashbook clips, which we'll do Smashbook on another video. I made this bookmark, which I love. Decorated it stickers and then laminated it. I love laminating stuff. I always have liked to do that. Um, I, I prefer doing the laminating my way, which is heavy duty tape. It just works so well <laughs> and it actually stays. And here's another pad of paper that I bought and some clips in the same pack and then one of these other clips. And then this cute little scrapbook pocket. I, I didn't make the pocket. I bought the little pockets. However, I made the tag. I clipped it out, put ribbon on it. Just, you know, you can write a little note in there to yourself or to whoever and have some stickers tucked away. And I just tore off some washi tape kind of for a little um, messy look. I put a sticker there and I made, th this was the, the divider that I made. Just a love divider, some colors and stickers with bookworms on it. I am totally not a bookworm, but I thought those were so cute. I like to read and everything. I just don't ever have time to do it. So, and then I had a cute thing of paper that I tucked in there. Just love. And then these are so cute. They're magnetic. I thought you can find these at your local bookstore. Hastings, uh, Barnes and Noble, Mardell Bookstore. Um, they're usually up in the front, but they're little page magnetic things. You know how we like magnets but those are cool i made this pocket just to tuck a pocket in there and put some pages in there i did i'll show you my kids too oh my gosh you guys will love my kids journals they're so cute now that they've put stuff in it and stuff and then this is another envelope i bought at the teacher's supply store it has a flap but i have it glued down because i don't want to close it this is just a um you know a cardstock and I put, I made my own reinforcement right there with washi tape, clipped a thing and tucked it in here for a note. And I can also tie a ribbon here if I want to or some twine, which I just bought. So I'll have to show you guys when I do all that. And I put a little, um, my little pony sticker down here. And that's it for now. This was long enough. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Have a great day.